guys, it's Brie. You probably know that I like my graphic novels, um, and I thought I would give some of you the heads up on something that you should be looking forward to, and if you're into single issues, you should be picking up. Um, <laughs> so, you might know Matt Fraction. He has been writing... Just a second. He's been writing the Hawkeye series for Marvel. He's done a bunch of other stuff. Um, he's a pretty popular scriptwriter for graphic novels and comics. Um, and he has come out with something absolutely new. Um, it is a retelling of the Odyssey in a total gender bender way. Um, <laughs> in space, nonetheless. Um, and it is something I think you should be keeping your eye on, especially if you like the original Odyssey um, and you like to do contemporary or sci-fi twists on stuff, you are really going to like it. So I'm just gonna show you the covers really quick. This is what they look like. This is the first and the second single issue, so if you're waiting for trades because that's what you like, these will be in there, but they'll probably not be the actual covers. Um, inside, is some fantastic kind of trippy art. I'm trying to find something. It's a it's an adult graphic novel series, so there's adult content, and I can't show you everything in it. Um, but let's see here. It includes a twist on the Greek pantheon, um, inclu including the story of Kronos and Zeus. So it's a version of the Odyssey that's really pretty interesting. Um, first off, they started off with a really kind of different twist. So Zeus is born a woman, and in killing her father, Cronus, she decides also to kill off the entire males of the species. There are no more males. And Zeus's daughter decides to create a third gender um, person so that the human race can continue. And she saves the human race. Later on, there is Odysseus, who in this case is also a woman. And Odysseus goes to fight the Trojan War, leaving behind her son, Telemachus, who is the first boy to be born, really since Zeus comes to power. Um, it's such an interesting story really attacks on the idea of human motivation. The traditional structure of the Odyssey is in verse, and it kind of follows that in the actual narration, not necessarily in the scenes where we're seeing characters interact, but in the overarching narrator voice. Um, I just I just keep wanting to show you just the fantastic artwork, because look how, look how vivid these colors are, and Zeus is just, she's awesome. Uh, she's, I don't know, my mom would call her a renaissance woman. <laughs> um, and it's really interesting. It does diverge from a lot of the original storyline, but we're only two single issues in, so I think that we're going to see some really interesting twists. Um, it's already leading into some really neat stuff. It's just one that I think you should be keeping your eye out for. Uh, the third issue is coming out in a week and a half, I think. Um, but definitely a new series from uh, Image to be keeping an eye on. And Image, of course, is doing some fantastic stuff. Let me know if you have picked up Odyssey already. If not, let me know when you're going to be picking it up. You should. I'm saying that as somebody who didn't even really like Hawkeye very much, I'm saying you should be picking this up. Um, <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.